Welcome back to Tech Dudes Weekly. Uh, we are going to cover today uh, a little bit about the Apple announcements uh, in true Tech Dudes Weekly form. Uh, you know, jump onto the Apple bandwagon at least for a little bit. Although I think you might see a little bit of a shift in our channel as you see some videos progress. Um, <laughs> so today we're going to cover three major areas of the new iPads. Um, a, let's just start off, talk about what's new, right? Uh, what's the new tech and, uh, you know, why is it a, uh, being announced now? Uh, then we're going to get into, is it worth the price? Because prices have uh, shifted dramatically in terms of uh, total overall ownership. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're also going to talk about the market timing, because these entered at a very interesting time in the market with some competitors coming in with other compelling type of, uh, you know, uh, tech and, then, and that might impact and then how these are perceived in the market uh, and whether or not the iPad has uh, lost a step or it's right in tune with where the market needs to be. Uh, so with that said, we're also going to follow up this video with another one that's going to cover some of that competing technology, specifically from Microsoft around ARM. And, then, and we're also going to follow up that video kind of doing the compare and contrast uh, between these two then with uh, the traditional Windows versus Apple type of uh, rhetoric. Then, so with that said, I'm going to jump over, bring up some information on the screen. And Dave, why don't you dive into the iPad Pro and uh, tell us what your thoughts are? Sure. So as everybody knows, we both have iPads. I've got, we've got, I've got several here, uh, but you and I mainly have the, the Pros. Um, the 13 inch model, which is 12.9 or whatever they want to call it at that point. So this is the first iteration of the M4 uh, for the iPad Pro. Um, that's a whole different conversation that we probably need to get into around why they push this to an iPad versus anything else. Um, but the, the, there, there's a fundamental I, ha I have a lot of problems with this, not the design or it's an iPad or anything else. It's just these devices now have technology in them that I don't think is needed anymore. And we're just pushing paper specs to be pushing paper specs. Both you and I have an M1. We can't push those things, even in video editing, to any any remote shape, fashion, or form of stressing that device out of anything. Um, I get technology has to evolve over time, but sometimes I just, I gotta ask why. Love the product but I'm still running an M1, just like you are. So why we have an M4 in this, which I think we know is part of the answers for this one, but we've still got the two models, the 11 and the 13. There wasn't really, in my opinion, a lot of innovation on this one. You've got the OLED screen um, for another, for the one terabyte and the two terabyte versions, you get 16 gig of RAM and you can get the, uh, what is the nano textured anti-glare film yeah. on it which is well, kind of mostly for uh, for people taking it outside and uh, using it there yeah and for the creatives who use this for drawing or whatever it actually mutes the color palette uh to a degree and so i'm like why do you really want that if you're doing it that way so i don't know that's kind of a a rant on it at this point and, and I'll, I'll try to keep this positive but i mean 9.99 for an 11 11 inch model with the xdr and, and a 13 inch model is 12.99 I think that's where I paid for my M1 was twelve ninety nine with two fifty six, and it's a cellular version. Well, and the, the other part of it too that um, I, we also probably need to highlight is that it did get considerably thinner. I mean, these things are. I, I went to Best Buy. I played around with it. I mean, it is jaw dropping how light it is. Uh, it's incredibly thin. Um, supposedly has the same rigidity of an m2 nine series but regardless you know whether or not you can bend it you can bend anything if you try hard enough knowing um you know they're they are they're spectacular devices some of the thinness is attributed to the oled panels there's actually two of yeah. them stacked and i think they did that specifically to bring up the luminance of the uh total uh um brightness of the screen so yeah i think yeah. they said it may hit a thousand nits now or something like that yeah it's around a thousand nits i mean it's very pretty. Nothing. The contrast is like no other. It's an OLED screen. I mean, so you know, OLED's OLED. Nothing. Um, you know, it's a beautiful piece of hardware. The problem I have with it personally is, you know, it's the form over function, you know, type of yeah. uh, discussion. Um, it's running iPad OS. It's got the fastest processor on the market today, arguably. Nothing. Um, but it's completely hobbled by an operating system that to me is a content consumption device first and a computer second. And even that computer second, I would say, is 
not really far, far second. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it, it depends on what you're using this for. You know, if you want to sit down and you're into drawing the new Apple pencil with the ability to twist and turn it and make it look like calligraphy and stuff like that. Beautiful device. No, no issues there. Nothing. Um, you know, if you're going to draw, you're going to consume Netflix, read the web, email, respond to a few things here and there. Fantastic. You're going to use it as a computer. Okay, now they're introducing the the Magic Keyboard again. Uh, I looked at the Magic Keyboard. Would okay. you have it for your current Pro? I do. Nothing. Um, the current one, if you have one, is not compatible with this one. Nothing. Uh, so you will be buying a new Magic Keyboard if you want to stay in that that uh, realm. Um, the problem I have with it is they did change the shape of the hinge and they made it a little bit smaller. Uh, and there's a video out there on YouTube. I'll see if I can find it and put a link to it in the comments. Nothing, but they it makes it rockable. So if you have it on a desk and you touch the front of the uh, iPad to, you know, it's a touch screen. <laughs> yep. Nothing, um, it rocks backwards. Nothing, and that's due to the hinge shape and the shortness of the hinge, uh, trying to make it look smaller and less bulbous as the old one did, that which didn't bother me, to be honest. And because it's shorter, too, it's now underneath the edges of where the iPad is. It makes it a little bit harder to use that USB-C port, again, only for charging. It has no data capabilities at all. I'm surprised they, they did that. Um, so, you know, again, Magic Keyboard, it's, you know, it's expensive. It's 350 bucks. And then for the 13-inch model, a little bit cheaper for the 11. Um, I don't think they added to the functionality. It has a little bit more weight to it. It has a little new, uh, it has a function uh, function row. Okay, great. Yeah, I and think they made the track pad a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. And if I remember correctly, it's haptic feedback as well. It's yep. not a rocker uh, trackpad. Yeah. Okay, fine, whatever. I didn't have any problem with it being mechanical. Nothing. Um, but yeah, overall, the hardware, it's nice. I, I don't think it's leaps forward by any means. Um, it's not I think needed. Maybe, maybe even took a few steps backwards with the Magic Keyboard accessory. Um, but again, it's still iPad OS. Uh, yeah, and one of the things you were talking about with regards to its thinness or thickness, however you want to call it, I think it's 5.1 millimeters thick, thin, whatever you want to do. And to they change the internals around it. So um, the battery packs change. Now they run a center on the logic board running, uh, I think it's, is it horizontal? This No, it's, I have to go back and look. Anyway, they've got a center ridge with um, carbon fiber and some metal in there that actually takes and reinforces its bendability on one plane. What it doesn't do, sorry, yes, it, it um, it's on the horizontal plane. On the vertical plane, it does nothing for it because what happens is if you try to flex it and the YouTuber Jerry Rig Everything did this breakdown on it, which at first I was horrified by watching somebody destroy, you know, a $1,500 device, but that's, that's what he does, which I think is actually really good. Um, but, I mean, he did everything he could to flex it in that one plane with the uh, reinforcement. Didn't really do anything. As soon as he turned it the other way, the weak link in that was the uh, USB-C charging point. As soon as you flex it, it pushed up into the glass and snapped the glass. All right. So why do we have to keep getting thinner and thinner on this? Yeah, I, I don't think it led to anything other than it, we, we can do it. That's why it was one of those, you know, we can, not should we? I think, um, yeah. Yeah. But again, there, there's no additional functionality. And I'll, you know what? The other thing I'll mention, too, that, that bothered me is, uh, so the new Apple Pencil, again, sweet device. <laughs> no argument there. Um, and, you know, if you want to find out, there's a thousand YouTube videos about it. Knowing uh, One thing I thought was interesting is that because the iPad is so thin and these have to magnetically attach a little bit differently, so, again, uh, compatibility issues, but because they're so thin, if you hold your iPad to the side while you're walking, it actually, if you brush it up against you at all, that pencil is going flying. Yeah. And so, I mean, again, yeah, it's always been a, you know, oh, am I going to lose my pencil type thing? Uh, Apple's answer to that answer to that was the oh, find me is now in the pencil. <laughs> so yeah. you can do, you can do a find my. Nothing. Um, however, uh, you know, I don't think that solves the problem. I, you know, I think Microsoft did it best back with the signature keyboard when they made a slim pencil and they shoved it inside the keyboard and it was actually hidden uh, yeah. when it was closed. And then, so, I mean, there was no thought of losing it there. Um, yeah, There's this, a lot of aftermarket um, cases that actually have a really good solution for it, but Apple couldn't, and I don't understand why. But if you do that there, um, we made it thin because... 
yeah there, there's no thin because anymore knowing if you if you start hiding it in one of those big cases an otter box or whatever those yeah. that'll absolutely keep the pencil secure but the whole point of this was that it's uber thin yeah okay. i mean and to your point earlier ipad os is the crippling factor in this because why do we call this an ipad pro okay it's got an m4 in it what is pro about if the hardware is pro and nothing else what does it matter and i'm yeah. not trying to be super critical about this but you and i've had some very long discussions around why is this the way it is i mean everybody slaps a pro moniker on something so they can charge more for it there's nothing professional about any I don't know. I mean, even even uh, on the Androids, anything with an Android, uh, which I don't think there's a pro on any of the Android pieces. The the biggest pro I think you can find in the Android would be like the Pixel line, which is a premium line from Google. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. They make really Apple makes really, really nice stuff. But form of form over function, we're, we're, we're taking a step back. I still say to this day when John Ivey left. And when Steve Jobs passed, we're going, we're in a regression standpoint um, of Apple products. We're doing things just because we can, not because we should. And it makes no sense anymore. All right. I think that this is a good segue into the next section that we were going to discuss was, is it worth the price? Yeah. Now, because um, it's not a computer. I don't care what anybody says. It's not nope. a computer. Knowing um, it, it's a tablet, knowing in a cons media consumption device. And if that's what you need, fantastic. It can do some computing like functions, but it's frustrating that, you know, it's not a full computer. Now, price wise, knowing again, to get to the 16 gigs of RAM, you're, you know, talking about almost, you know, 1900 bucks, knowing to get to 16 gigs. Do you need 16 gigs with an iPad? I don't think you do because you, there, there's no applications or anything that push it beyond that. Maybe some no. video editing, maybe some Lightroom related things. Um, you know, okay. Now, but I still don't think you need the 16 gigs there. Now, um, the other side of it too, is that when you look at the overall cost of it and the amount of power that's in this device, why can't this run Mac OS? The answer is, is it, it can, there's no reason other than Apple wants to sell you a laptop and yeah. an iPhone they are eating into their own ecosystem because that conversation i was reading an article the other day keeps popping up why aren't these devices one because if they tried to push them as one it would eat into both sides of the of the market and they can't do that well and, and I, I think that goes to there's a lot of two and ones in the market and we'll come to that in another video we alluded to that earlier where we get into some of the microsoft line and you know surface i think probably did it best and although there were other ones out there that kind of iterated on that lenovo with yoga and stuff like that yeah nothing and it comes down to do you want to carry two devices uh, for me the answer is no nothing um and but what do you want to be best i want my i want to be the best computer and a decent tablet I don't need it the other way around. That's yep. just my, in 2024, I, I honestly feel that that is probably the best positioning unless your goal is to consume content as your 90% of what you're going to do. And there's okay. people out there who do that. But yeah, I, I mean, now I will say for the, for the current generation now, they probably think this is a computer. And by all definitions and price point, it is. But it is nothing more than a media consumption device in my personal flawed whatever you want to call it opinion on that so yeah it's it's a computer all up to the point where you join the workforce yeah yeah you know. i don't i don't get it and here's the other thing keeping consideration too all my ipads except for maybe one or two i had sailor versions we were playing around with trade-in numbers the other day and one that costs more granted it's like a 100 bucks more for a sailor version is worth less than a, just a wi-fi only version yeah, what do we see on Best Buy? You get about what, 370, 390 or something like that? Yeah, and you're getting 550. Have, yeah, 550. And I have the same thing without yep. cellular. Yep. So I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, that, that's sort of interesting. Um, so why don't we, you know, again, we can belabor costs all day long. These are yeah. expensive. You go up to the high end. I mean, you're you're in the you know high two 2000 range, especially if you add any accessories at all, add the Magic Keyboard, all that junk. Yep. And then, um, so that, that brings us to our third thing, market timing. You know, has the iPad gotten to the point where it's it's missing the mark in 2024? Um, 
I think that might be the case. I think we're starting to see, and well, again, we're not going to explore it now, but you know, Microsoft has entered the arm race uh, with Qualcomm, knowing at their, you know, as their partner, um, you know, the all-day battery life type things. I think we're going to start seeing some very interesting things come out of the Windows world, and we're going to yep. see more devices that answer the question of can I be both, and can I be a computer first and a tablet second, and I think that's really where where the uh, you know rubber hits the road. Nothing, and uh, the iPad's in the exact opposite thing, where it's a tablet first, maybe a computer second, and by the way, you still probably want to buy a MacBook. It's its biggest hobble is the software. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not degrading the software or anything, but there's no reason for it to be pro. There's I mean there there's it you can't stress this device unless you're running synthetic benchmarks. So again, my opinion. So you know, tell us in the comments how bad and wrong my opinion is so yeah you know what the other funny thing is it, it, it timing wise and i'll just throw this in at the very end here is that you know the iphones aren't getting smaller they're getting bigger no. and, yeah and i believe there's there, there's rumor that even the 16 is going to be bigger and the 17 is supposed to be the wow factor of a uber thin again nothing but i don't want to sell futures by any means but if my iphone's getting bigger knowing at a certain point why do i have a tablet knowing because 90 percent of the content consumption things i can do sitting on the couch almost comfortably probably with my iphone knowing um you and know the and if I really, didn't refresh the mini either yeah and if i have to do any work i'm grabbing a computer just my thoughts i know you know again throw it in the comments we'd love to hear from you you know are you a tablet first computer second or is a computer first tablet second you know uh, kind of a better workflow for you in 2024 and i would love to hear you know more from you know folks that have watched the channel but um yeah i think we've kind of uh you know beaten this one will i buy yeah, one probably not my m1 at this point my pro you know m1 is going to be perfectly fine uh you can save a little bit of money go down to the air uh that's an m2 processor again uh 799 to 999 depending on how you configure it um i don't think you bought anything there to be honest i think they're selling you older technology wrapped in a old shell and i think i'm not sure what the deal is there nothing um so the, the lineup is is odd at best i think for me here um you know i'm and who knows uh you might even hear from us did we trade in our current ipads and macbooks and move to something completely different something for us to explore in the uh the, again the third video we're talking about here that we'll come back with uh you know windows versus apple and uh you know is one of them starting to look a little bit shinier than the other um, inquiring minds want to know yeah exactly so thanks again for joining us on this uh you know tech dudes weekly uh check back we're going to continue to pump out new videos and i think we had a little bit of a hiatus nothing but we are back full force and uh, you'll see more and more content coming out from us um, over the next few days yep appreciate it everybody thanks all you have a great one